Hi, I'm Mr. O Mingyo. Okay, I'm going to show you how to find the resultant force of two non-parallel non vectors using the parallelogram method. Okay, let's take a look at these questions. Find the resultant force of, uh, of this setup here. So there's a 60,000 Newton force here and an 80,000 Newton force here and separated by an angle of 60 degrees. Okay, this 80,000 Newton force is in this direction. Okay, um, this kind of question is a four mark question. So now I'll go through step by step to tell you where these four marks lies. Okay, uh, first of all, the first mark lies in the scale. You need to show the marker what is your scale. So in this case, it's a 60,000 Newton and an 80,000 Newton and you are given this space here. So if I do an estimation, right, if let's say I use 1 cm is to 1,000 Newton, I will need about 6 cm here and I need about 8 cm here and another 6 cm, 8 cm. So this scale is good because if I were to use the scale of 1 cm, is to 10,000 Newton I fully maximize the area that is given okay so now um, this will be where the first mark line okay now let's move on to the second mark it will be the drawing of the parallelogram okay since this is 60,000 I need to draw 6 cm to represent it okay so from here to here cm and there is an angle of 60 degrees in between the 60,000 new, 60, Newton and 80,000 Newton so let's use a protractor and measure 80 degrees sorry 60 degrees Okay, let us draw 8 cm. Okay, this will be our 80,000 Newton force. Okay, now um, I'm going to teach you a very accurate way, very accurate way to, to actually draw the parallelogram. Okay, what you need to do is to have a compass with you. Okay, measure 6 cm here. So basically, you can measure the, the length of the line here. Okay, after that, you bring it to this point, and then you draw an arc. Okay, now we do the opposite for the 80,000 Newton force. Measure this length here, then bring it up to here. Same thing, draw another arc. Okay, the intersection between these two arc it will give you the it will give you the opposite corner of the parallelogram. So what you need to do is to draw a line to the arc. Okay, please bear in mind that this line is a construction line, so we use dotted line to represent. Same goes for the last line. Okay, this is where the second mark will go to. Okay, and draw the resultant force. And write down here, resultant force. Okay, after we have drawn the resultant force, we have to convert uh, the length back to the, back to the, uh, the Newton unit. Okay, so now let's measure what is the length of this resultant force? Okay, it's about 12.4 cm. Okay, 12.4 cm. Let's convert it back to Newton. It will give us 12,400 Newton. Okay. So let's write down here 
the resultant force is equal to 12400 Newton okay this will give us this will give us our third mark okay and and how about the fourth mark the fourth mark goes to the direction you have to tell me where is the direction of the resultant force so how do we write usually we take we take reference to either one of the force given okay so for example I want to reference the resultant force to this 60,000 Newton force what I have to do is to just measure the angle between the resultant force to the 60,000 Newton this is about 35 degrees okay so I can I can just write down here the resultant force is 35 degrees anti-clockwise sorry 35 degrees clockwise from the 60,000 Newton force that means from the 60,000 Newton force if I were to go clock, clockwise 35 degrees I can reach the resultant force so we write down resultant force is 35 de degrees clockwise from the 60,000 Newton force 